Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry. Again, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am Programming Buggy. Good morning, afternoon, evening to all my programmer programmers out there. I am doing a quick task of higher and lower. And I'm doing this in Python. And I have done this before. However, I ran into quite a big problem. And because of that problem, it caused me so much pain that I actually stopped recording to do more research. So let's go ahead and get this task done. It asks to create a program that shows a number and then choose a random number without displaying it. The user will guess higher or lower by typing in H for higher or L for lower. If the user is correct, that the sub second number is higher or lower than the first, it should display you guess right. The number is and then the number so if there's wrong it should display good try but the number is and then the number if the number is equal it should count it as higher so the first thing i want to do with this is imports the reason i want to do a pound sign for comment imports is because i have to import the ability to do random I have to remember there's no semicolons in this the next thing I want to do is my declaration. As I said in my previous video about um, Python, declarations and imports are going to go at the top. So I know that I need a number one, num one. And I'm sorry, I keep getting these little pop ups that's causing me to slow down. But um, I know I need a num one, which is going to equal to a random dot. I'm sorry, rand int zero, and then we're gonna do up to 100. And then we're gonna do the same thing for num2, random dot rand int zero to 100. The reason we want them both to go 100, because we want them to be able to reach each other, each other to give it a fair chance. So, we also want them to be able to guess, which is going to be the user's input. So that's going to be left blank for now. The next thing we're going to do is write the code. So the machine should be polite when it starts off. So it should enter or print out to the screen. Welcome to higher or lower program. And then it can print another line. The first, you know, it's going to give them the first number. The first number is and comma num1 comma please enter h h if you think the second number is higher. Or L if you think the second number is lower. And then it's going to allow them to put their input, which is going to be guess. So if they guess equals input, there were arrows. So that's the point where they get to guess. So if they guess, equals higher and yes it's going to be case sensitive then the little colon remember what i said last time the colon is then if num1 is less than num2 then, then they get to print you were right, or as it said, um, you guessed the number right. The number is, and then comma, num2. So it's going to display num2. Otherwise, it's going to tell you that you did not print Good try, but I'm sorry, I didn't spell that right. Try, but the number 
is, let me come over here for a moment. Make sure y'all keeping up. The number is colon and then num2. So we have that now. And then we're going to use what is called elif. Give me a minute. These plies on this YouTube video is going crazy. Okay. So we're going to use elif, which is Python's version of else if. And I like that. I like that a lot. So elif, let's say they enter guess equal equals l. Then if num one and I actually need this num one is greater than num two. Then and I'm gonna tab it again. Print and it's gonna pretty much be the same thing as above. We're gonna print out you guys right the number is yada yada yada. And um, I'm just gonna copy and paste this because it would save us much time. So we have that now. But let's say they enter something that doesn't exist. Else, and that's just in case they enter something that, you know, <laughs> isn't even up there. And it, all that's going to do is print invalid entry. Please. You know, invalid entry. We haven't learned how to restart the program or stop the program yet. So we're going to just invalid entry and that'll be it. So we have our basic coding. As I said, I've done this actually before. Do, 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 do. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save this. We got our basic coding. Let me go ahead and run it. Now we're going to go ahead and run it through a Python program. Give me one moment. Line 15. Let's see what I did wrong. Oh, okay. Yes, I see. My, I have an error here where I didn't put a colon, which is actually going to be normal for me to forget small things like that. However, because I didn't put a colon, it's going to return an error. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. Num oh. Okay, I forgot a comma here. I also forgot a comma here. So these are small things that you will notice will affect the program. Commas, colon, stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And it's still, oh, mine 20 now. <laughs> I forgot to change that one because I copy pasted. All right, I'm going to run it one more time. Good. So. We're going to go ahead and change over the window. Let y'all see the program. Run through it really quick. I'm sorry, my dog is whining. Hey, buddy. I'm in the middle of something. I'll give it right to you. I apologize. Sometimes he just gets whiny. I don't know why. So it's asking me to enter a number. That I think is higher or lower. So it tells me the first number is 69, which I think the second number is going to be lower. And it says, sorry, good try, but the number is the second number is 84, which means that I was wrong. So I can actually run it again. I'll write it one more time. It says that the first number is 8. So I'm gonna guess higher. And it says, I guess right, the number is 40. So yeah, this program's already working. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me during this program and adventure. And I hope this helps you out with your random. If you want more information on the program, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. And have a nice day, my fellow programmers and programmers.